Hi guys, it is a beautiful but a little bit chilly day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization at uh, this undisclosed spot on this collapsing planet where I have discovered some weird looking monolith out here in the middle of the swamp. If anybody knows what the hell this thing is, <coughs> let me know, but uh, we're not here to talk about mysterious monoliths cropping up all over the planet. We are here to talk about societal disruption and collapse because this is Collapse Chronicles. I am Sam Mitchell and I want to thank alert <coughs> listener Brother JJ from New York, baby. Uh, for sending me this letter, which I think is also in today's Guardian. It might be, but this is from a place I have mentioned before, the University of Cumbria. And this is what uh, at least at least 250, at least 250 scientists, and scholars have on their minds in the waning days of 2020. <clears throat> International scholars warning on societal disruption and collapse. That should be international scholars warning of societal disruption and collapse. But anyway, I think we get the point. <clears throat> A public letter signed by over 250 scientists and scholars from 30 countries calls on policymakers to engage more with the growing risk of societal disruption and collapse due to damage to the climate and environment. The letter invites focus on how to slow prepare for and help those already suffering from such disruptions. The signatories are specialists in a wide range of subject areas that relate to this challenge who commonly believe it is time to listen to all the scholarship on humanity's predicament. Okay, and I'm going to put the the link uh, to this article, and they're inviting you, if you have your own credentials, you're welcome to sign this yourself if you can figure out how, and uh, you will notice some folks that I have interviewed here on Collapse Chronicles uh, over the years, and I'm hoping to... to uh, restart my interviews here after Inauguration Day, <clears throat> and you can bet that uh, I will be asking a lot of people signing this letter to come further elaborate. All right, <clears throat> so let's listen to the letter from 250 fellow Collapsitarians. Only if we discuss collapse might we prepare. As scientists and scholars from around the world, we call on policymakers to engage openly with the risk of disruption and even collapse of our societies. After five years of failing to reduce carbon emissions in line with the Paris Climate Accord, we must now face the consequences. While bold and fair efforts to cut emissions and naturally, naturally draw down carbon are essential, researchers in many areas now consider societal collapse to be a credible scenario this century. A range of views exist on the location, extent, timing, 
permanence and cause of such disruptions, but the way modern societies exploit people and nature is a common concern. Only if policymakers begin to discuss this threat of societal collapse might communities and nations begin to prepare and so reduce its likelihood, speed, severity, home to the most vulnerable, and to nature. Some armed services already see collapse as an important scenario requiring planning. Surveys show many people now anticipate societal collapse. Sadly, that is already the experience or memory of many communities in the global south. However, this topic is not well reported in the media and mostly absent from civil society and politics. When potential collapse is covered by the media, it typically cites people who condemn discussion of the topic. Ill-informed speculations, such as on foreign misinformation campaigns or impacts on mental health and motivation, will not support serious discussion. Rather, <clears throat> such claims risk betraying the thousands of activists and community leaders whose anticipation of collapse is part of their motivation to push for change on climate, ecology, and social justice. People who care about environmental and humanitarian issues should not be discouraged from discussing the risks of societal disruption or collapse. That could risk agendas being driven by people with less commitment to such values. Yes, yeah, such as virtually 100% of elected politicians on this planet. <clears throat> that was my comment there at the end. Uh, <clears throat> some of us believe that a transition to a new form of society may be possible. That will involve bold action to reduce damage to the climate, nature, and other people, including preparations for major disruptions to everyday life. We are united in regarding efforts to suppress discussion of collapse as hindering the possibility of that transition. We have experienced how emotionally challenging it is to recognize the damage being done along with the growing threat to our own way of life. We also know that the great sense of fellowship that can arise. It is time to invite each other into difficult conversations so we can reduce our complicity in the harm and be creative to make the best of a turbulent future. There you go. And then we have uh, over 250 uh, various scientists and uh, scholars uh, signing this. And we have a long list of references. There's links to all sorts of other uh, Chronicles of the Collapse, which I, I, I could just spend the rest of the year on this uh, for emotional support 
on this extremely troubling matter. Use some of the links to resource from here. All right, if you are a journalist seeking to interview a signatory, please email us. All right. Uh, there you go. All sorts of links. And, uh, all right, so I've got to start inviting some of these people. I've heard of it. I, it's unbelievable how few of these people that I recognize, you know, even after all these years now in the rabbit hole. But let's uh, <clears throat> hope we can get some of these folks on the show. And uh, all right, and with that short but simple chronicle of the collapse, I'm going to go investigate this weird new monolith that I have found. And uh, I don't know if I don't get abducted by space aliens, we will uh, be back for more of this doom and gloom tomorrow. Get out there and enjoy your societal disruption before the full-on collapse gets here. Bye, guys. <clears throat>